here we are back on the harvester right we've ran some stuff through it you'll be seeing some videos on that but one of the things that we uh, that drew us to this was you know how it is when you go have Thanksgiving meal and Christmas dinner and all those kind of things and you have all these leftovers left over yeah what do you do with them freeze them for a while and you know they they're okay but what if you could take those leftovers and fix it where you could pull out a small chunk of it and mix it back up with some water and have Thanksgiving meal or Christmas meal anytime you want it. Well, that's kind of what we're going to do today. We've got something going on that uh, applied to one of my other videos. Uh, we made too much spaghetti and uh, spaghetti sauce. So we're going to freeze dry this and see how it turns out. Let's do it. Okay, we've got our trays laid out here. We've got our spaghetti, our spaghetti squash and meat sauce. We're going to spoon this on the trays, spread it out, and we're going to pre-freeze these in the deep freeze tonight. May not have enough for a full load of all four trays, but that's what we're going to try to do. And of course we'll we'll sample this when we get done just like we have been. If we make this as thin as possible, we'll be better off. We're going to check this. I've got a meter. We're going to check it before we turn this off and uh, see if we need to add more drying time to it. Let me show you how that works. Seems pretty dry. Let me see if I can get my meter out here. Get you set up where you can see it. All right, here's the moment of truth. I've already tried some of this dry, as you can see. But we ended up with one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six of these bags. Uh, these have already been sealed. Uh, something that I've learned already is that you do not want to let this stuff set out uh, because it will start sucking moisture 
real quick. So you want to get you want to get it in the bag as quick as you can. But here's the here's the test right here. This is our freeze dried here. To that, we're going to add some. We're going to reconstitute this. boiling water and the wife says she wants this for breakfast so I try not to put as much little as water in there as I can but I think I'm gonna have to have just a little bit more And you may have to let this set for a little bit. But what would it be worth to come in from work, grab a bag of this, cut the top off of it. You can, and by the way, you can resell these bags. Pull out a couple of chunks of this, throw some hot water in there, and presto changeo. You've got supper. Still feel a couple of hard spots in there. I'm going to test it though. And it tastes just like it came out of the pot. Let me get my taste tester in here. Hey, Beck! She's going to test it. See what you think. Mmm. Tastes just like you did when you made it. Tastes just like it did when we made it. That's amazing. Well, that mushroom right there still got a little hard to it. I'm going to add a bunch of water to it. Think about this. You add too much water. Pull the bag open. Pull you out another chunk of it. It'll take those mushrooms a little bit, but they're starting to get there. Hey, there you got it. All those leftovers that you got, you don't know what to do with. Put them in the freeze dryer. I can imagine this being around Christmas and Thanksgiving, this being a godsend for leftovers. The flavor is exactly the same. There's no difference in it. The texture is the same. That's what gets me. Is I would have thought that the texture would be different, but it's the same. And those mushrooms are getting they're getting mushy now. So Mrs. Fitzpreacher's waiting on her breakfast. So hey, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it. See you next time.